I've been meaning to call you for a while, oh. but felt I needed a kind of a meaty, clunky gear change of a call to do so. Okay, all right. I like your style. Bearing in mind, yeah, most of our callers I, have nothing to talk about, but, uh, yeah. but, but okay, you've, you've, you've come prepared. I like this. I feel I've probably tipped the scales too far. Uh-oh. And um, I was going to call you last night um, yeah. and then bottled it, as I have the number in my phone. And then um, today um, it has been one of those crazy days. Yeah. Probably the craziest of days. Um, um, my wife passed away today. Oh. Um, oh, brother. I know. I'm, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's the only thing I can think to say. I'm yeah. sorry, man. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 been a hell of a year. She discovered um, she went into hospital in, in March with a, an obstruction, um, which we found out was bowel cancer. Um, and then we had a successful operation to remove it and... Uh, five or so months of chemotherapy um, and we went for the six month scan and unfortunately at that point um, we were thought we were going to get the good news but we got the bad news that it had um, been resistant to chemotherapy and it spread to the, the liver and the lungs and that was in September and uh, it's just been a quite a rapid deterioration since then and just been in hospital for the feels like uh, feels like forever but it's been a few weeks and uh, she passed away uh, today and uh yeah, that was going to be my meaty, clunky gear change, but, you know. Well, um, so. uh, may I, you don't have to tell me if you don't want, may I ask what her, uh, her name? Uh, Sarah, without a H. Without an H? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I always go for the Sarah and the number of Sarahs. Mm-hmm. Did she call people out if they went for the Sarah? She was too polite. Oh, no. Oh, no, but she'd probably just make a note. So, so, <laughs> so people would be getting her name wrong and she'd just go with it. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, well. yeah, You can imagine the amount of doctors and consultants <laughs> who come in and yeah, say her wrong thing. She would never complain. Um, how long have you been married for? If I, ask anything, uh, we, if I ask anything you don't want to yeah, say, yeah. David, or if at any point you just want to no. bail out of the call, it's all no. cool, man. You know that. You've been listening. You know that. Um, I've, I've, we, you know, it's been... It's been a strange day. I've been surrounded by her family, who are amazing, and you know they're essentially well, they are my second family, but they you know they're just just as close to me as, as anyone could be. Um, but I've kind of just stepped out of that kind of environment. I'm just sat in my car, and uh, for some reason, giving you a call. Um, we were so so. I'm, I'm more than happy to chat. And, uh, we're married for for five years, but um, but we've been together for uh, over sixteen years. Wow, um, what took you so long, man? What, what what took you so long to get married? We um, we did the whole thing of uh, I, I would have probably married her the day I met her, but um, we did the whole thing of you know we we um, well basically she was eighteen when we met. I was twenty one, um, and then we met um, midweek at a gig. Um, I kind of saw her, and then the, that Sunday we both went off to, to separate unis. Um, so it was a long distance relationship oh, really wow. for the first four years. Uh, but we're both from the same town. Um so you you, you have holidays, don't you, Marvin? You're actually at yeah. university and uh, And you look, because I know so many people at university, well my boyfriend back home or my boyfriend's gone to, to Durham yeah. and it, and then, you know, after the first semester they're yeah. they they're, they're what sorry, what boyfriend? You kept it going <laughs> for four years while you were at university. That's remarkable. Yeah, and then um, so then she stayed on and did a PhD in Edinburgh, uh, where she went to university. And I thought Edinburgh is such a cool place, so I moved up there. Um, it's a great place. And then uh, we moved down to London in 2009, and uh, yeah, then once we kind of done the whole uni thing and everything, that's kind of when we thought we should really uh, been ten years. We're probably probably a good match, and we we got married after kind of ten years together. Basically. Well, in that case, you have uh... actually you got married the soonest you could, really yes. practically, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, financially, yeah. It's kind of... that's the way it works these days. Yeah, exactly. And we've got um, we've got a, a, a beautiful, beautiful daughter who's uh, two years old as well. So. Oh, blimey. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's um, I'm I'm going to be honest, David. I'm I'm welling up here a little bit. I hope you don't, I hope you don't mind. Right. <laughs> no. I hope you don't mind, but I am. I don't mind. I don't um, mind. And, um, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's tough. I mean, she was. Um, I know you're the uh, magician at guessing ages, but I know you her voice, but she was thirty four years old so it's no age it's nothing is it man (laughs) where's um so so you spent the whole day with her family which i'm yeah sure is 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 a great comfort but also i guess maybe do you perhaps want a little bit of time on your own 
Yeah, it's um, we've um, we've got a little um, um, two bedroom house, um, and we've had kind of all her family staying with us. So we've got um, two sisters, brother in law, brother and a mum, have all been all been staying in our house with with Freya, my daughter, as well. Um, so it's it's been a great distraction, but obviously you don't get that space at the same time. No, you, really need. You, you need a little bit of when, when someone passes, yeah. you need a little bit of silence. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, um, what, what about your family? Have you got your family? Yeah, my, my family are, are up north, um, right. but com- completely you know, supportive and everything like that, but at the same time not wanting to kind of overwhelm and, and yeah. realise there's a kind of limit to the amount of people you want to see. And also they're, uh, they've been taking uh, good care of our dog for the past month or so. Mm. so uh, how, is, uh, how is Freya? Is she all right? She's doing really, really well. She's amazing. She's a nice most beautiful girl and um, she knew that mummy was sore that her tummy was sore um, so I've not had the, the big chat yet but um, oh, mate. Um, she knows that we, we, we managed to take her into hospital when mummy was a bit more kind of um, a bit more lucid and with it in terms yeah. of uh, her communications and, um, and the, the team they were really good and they brought her in um, some like paper and finger paint so they did finger painting together um, so that's kind of the last time she saw mummy, and it was a beautiful moment. It really was. Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was. And all all the team um, at the hospital were just been amazing, really, really amazing. So. How I'm going to ask you a really dumb mm. question, right? It's a really dumb question, and you may not have an answer for this, but how if if I was there now, I would put my hand on your shoulder and I would look you in the eye and I say, "How are you doing, brother?" How are you feeling right now? I guess, I mean, you go through the whole roller coaster of emotions that I've kind of been going through since September when you get the news that the cancer's come back. And I know certain people love to be positive and think that it's always going to be a happy ending. But I think I had to go down the route of knowing that I had Freya was just to be kind of a practical way of thinking and you know planning for the future before you even get there and trying to prepare yourself but then you get to today and you realize that you can't prepare yourself uh, when, when someone you love so much passes and yeah i just I'd, I'd just say i feel daunted would be the word yeah that, that is uh, I, uh yes i imagine that sums it up perfectly is there's a lot of um you're staring at a lot of unknowns yeah now uh, I think I had um, like a, a wobble, shall we say, a, few, a while ago, a few nights ago, when I, I, um, I spent the night uh, in, in the room where Sarah was in hospital, and just just to be to be with her. And um, obviously, a, a night in a hospital just feels like a very, very long time with everything that's going on. Oh, it's horrendous, just... isn't it? It's so. Here's the thing: it's so noisy in there. Mm-hmm. It's so noisy with people talking and walking and um, farting and machines and. How how is anyone supposed to get any rest in a hospital room? <laughs> and um, I think at that point I was in my head running through every possible challenge and scenario that me and Freya are going to face over the next, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years and, and trying to come up with an answer on the spot of how I was going to fix that. And then, I mean, I know deep down they just got to take each day and each step at a time and each decision at a time, but... It's, it just gets away from you sometimes. Wobbles are allowed, you know that. Mm-hmm. You, you're going to have mm-hmm. a lot of wobbles. You, you, you know, you, 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 of course, you have to, uh, you, you have to have certain strength for yourself and for your daughter, but you're also allowed to break down. You know, you're also allowed yeah. to wobble. You're allowed to cry. You're allowed to make mistakes, and um, you're allowed to feel what you are inevitably going to feel, and you're allowed to express that. And I, I'm yeah. sure you know that, but yeah. I'm just reminding that, that everything that you're going to feel in the next couple of days, weeks, years, that's all mm. cool. There's no, you know, you're allowed to feel that stuff. I just want to say thank you to both of you. Oh, You've been very entertained on the drives in and out of the uh, hospital and in the traffic. I've introduced you to her family. And oh, no, oh, God. It's so I'm so sorry. And, uh, yeah. I'm but, sorry uh, about Ian's, like, wind. <laughs> well... <laughs> I think I think you uh, you saying a dick. Also. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that as well. I'm about one or two podcasts behind because I'm usually a podcast person rather than a, a live uh, call girl. But, uh, yeah. uh, well, uh, there's some, something to be said for a distraction, I think. Yeah. 
like that. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, David, you are welcome to give us a call any time that you want. Of course you are. Oh, hang on a second. You're welcome to give us a call any time you want. And um, uh, I send you love, man. Um, Thank you. Have you... Uh, you can drop me an email as well. Have you got my email address? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, well, um, if... if you've, you've previously, you've, um, you've given me good uh, migraine advice. Oh, have I? Oh, well, yeah. there you go. Well, then, listen, if you want to kind of reach out, I believe the Americans call it, and, mm-hmm. um, I, you know, if you just want to have a chat online or you want to... Yeah, you send me an email that. and I'll send you my number and stuff, and, well, you know, if you want to have a little text or a little chat or something, then... That would be cool Very if you want, and if you don't want, you don't have to. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, I appreciate that. But as, as, as you know, from one dad to another, and and from one human being to another, I'm I'm really sorry, and um, you know, well, uh, there's nothing I can say, man. Yeah. But, but there's know, nothing yeah, I can say. But but you have touched us in a, in in a, in a in a way that I'm sure you can't imagine, and um, we're there for you, and all the listeners are there for you too, brother. Thank you, and hopefully the. Uh... The next caller can be a, a clunky gear change in the year. Uh, it right can be. doesn't have to be. doesn't have to be. If you want to phone up, you know, whatever. You want to phone up, be silent, whatever. It's all fine, man. <laughs> Take care, David. Thanks for Drive ringing. carefully. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dearie me. That's got me. I know it's got you. Yeah. It's not fair, is it? It's none of this is fair. 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 